Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're in the fish room. We're doing fish room 2.0. We're doing the build. We're starting it at last. Yeah. So if you haven't been here before, welcome. This is a channel all about aquarium and aquatic related type stuff. But I've recently moved house. We're in the middle of my new garage. This is your regular size double garage. I'm going to cut out a kind of 12, 13 foot square and build that here and that's going to be my fish room. So step one was getting rid of the garage door which was an old up and over door which basically came up to about here and went all the way across and encroached right into the space that I wanted to use for my fish room. So we've changed it out for this new uh, roller door and already the difference in the heat retention capabilities of this room is ridiculous. Um, it's actually snowing outside right now but it's, it's not that bad in here. It's not, you can't see my breath, it's nice and warm. Um, they are slightly insulated, these panels, but not like a proper insulated door, but already it's making a massive difference. But if we swing you around a bit, excuse the mess, there is part one of the wall that I've started building out. That's going to come out to about here, so it's probably got another four or five feet to go, and then go down that way, which is the rest of the fish room. As well as changing the garage door, We've also had new lights put in, so we've got one light here, a big LED light, which will be the main fish room light. And then outside, what will be the garage for normal family storage stuff. That's also got its own lights, so on different switches. We've had new sockets put in all around what will be the fish room, ready to go there. So it's really just build the wall and start using these racks. So I've got these racks from Big Doug, which are going to make up at least half the fish room. Um, at the moment we've got one six foot rack there and then on this side we've got another six and a five or a five and a four, can't quite remember, but I've got another six foot rack which I haven't built yet but I've also been talking about an idea of doing a DIY monster fish tank plywood pond indoor thing so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that yet but basically I'm going to have two 12 foot spans that I can fill, maybe another 12 foot span that way. I don't know what I'm going to build, but first and foremost, we need to get these walls finished. So we've got the walls here. As you can tell, I'm no tradesman. Um, I've just done simple, I'm doing this all myself, so it'll probably be wrong. Because I've got some simple stud work. We've got some insulation down there, which I'm going to fill in and then put up some gyp rock boards on top of that and just do a basic L-shaped wall with a hole for a door, roughly where I am right now. So let's do that. Just wanted to show you, it really is, really is snowing outside. Um, I'm just showing you this so you can ridicule me later, but the walls that I'm building, they're, they're too tall, so I've had to make up these kind of noggins things, which I can knock in to give us the support that we need. I don't know what I should really be doing. Oh, wrong way around. Um, so, you know, let me know in the comments what you're meant to do in this situation. But the idea is I drill these in and then attach them so it gives something to fix the plasterboard to and it just gives the proper thing rigidity. Rigidity? Is that the word? But too long, I need to shave that down a little bit. Right, I think we're nearing the end of day one. This is what I've got done so far. I've got the main 
outward facing wall, it's not actually outward facing, so the garage door is there, this is the wall I've built behind it. I just want to get the insulation up in between the stud work, we're using this stuff, so it's rock wool, it's like sound insulation, but everyone seems to use it for thermal insulation as well, uh, there are many other options I could have gone with, but this was on offer, so I went with this. Basically, just trying to get it up, because, look at that, like a glove. Um, I'm kind of running out of space to build with, so I know I could probably get the other wall, which will go along here up, but I really want to get this wall up so as I can get all the gyp rock up and some of the insulation out of the way, and then that'll clear up some space so as I can start on this wall. Yeah, but we're getting there. It's taken me a few days to get to this point because I'm doing it all on my own, so I'm doing it after work in the evenings. So I think we're on day three or four and I finally finished the first wall. So it's up, it's sturdy, it's insulated, it's plasterboarded, I've just been taping up the seams. Um, I've already noticed a difference, so outside it's 0 0.5 degrees. Uh, I've had the garage door open for a couple of hours while I've been finishing off this stage. And in this section behind the wall it is 10 degrees. So when apart from questioning my thought process as to yeah i'll just knock up a quick wall as if i know how to knock up a quick wall we've got one wall up i'm going to go this way there's a bit of a protrusion here so i think we're going to come out to here which is about four feet and then that's going to be the door but what i might do is rather than put a door in i'm thinking of just leaving an opening and covering it with a curtain or something like that so as i can then swing in larger aquariums and things down the years as we move things around as I will inevitably do. And it just give me a bit more space than a normal doorway. Um, and if I hang something a thermal curtain that should hopefully do that. But anyway, let's crack on. Another day, another dusty mess. So we've got all the boards up, all the joints uh, taped and bonded and sealed. One interesting point is when I had the garage doors which are on the other side of this wall when they were shut overnight the temperature got down to minus one minus one and a half and when I came down and opened the doors the temperature was up to 15 degrees celsius inside here so it's already retaining the heat really well so having all this which is all insulated in, inside even though there's this gap here so the wall ends there Ooh. and then we've got this kind of eight eight foot gap something like that here it doesn't seem to affect the air temperature in here because the temperature, the thermometer is right there. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm probably going to just leave that and end the wall there. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing is taking one of these racks. In fact, let me turn you around and show you. So if I take that smaller, I think that this is a four foot rack, that then run that from that wall out, out like so, that would still leave me like a three foot gap here, which would allow me to swing things in. Then I could just hang a curtain from the the roof and that would properly keep all the temperatures good well that's the plan anyway anyway let me show you my handiwork i'm obviously no builder no plasterer tradesman so if you are thinking of commenting of how i've done everything wrong that's fine and all advice will be gratefully received but i'm not going to do anything about it because it's done now but i'm quite happy with that I'll show you from the outside So from outside the garage, that's what it kind of looks like. And the next job will be plastering. So I don't know whether we'll put that in this video or whether you want to see it. It's not really a DIY video, but that's the fish room. It's coming on, it's almost there. So I'll come into the garage through here, along this wall, maybe have a rack coming out that way and then swing into the fish room like so. So in theory, this is a six foot rack. There should be enough space for two of them in there. But what I might do is build mega pond or mega tank or whatever. I don't know what we're calling it yet. Big DIY plywood tank type thing might go there. Might have the six foot racks on this wall and then that five foot rack on that wall. And that would still let me have, I think maybe three or four feet of mega tank to come out that way. 
I don't know. Anyway, I think we'll leave that there, unless you want to see me failing at plastering. <laughs> um, but that's going to be the next job for this one. We'll come back and give you another update soon, no doubt. So make sure you click that subscribe button. But let me know, let me, I'm in the middle of the but let me know in the comments if you do want to see any more of this build series as I am not a tradesman I'm doing this all on my own I don't really know what I'm doing so I will take advice but I'm not going to change anything now so unless you want to critique and say I'll come and fix it for you for free this is as good as it gets see you next time bye